you again. Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. So gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud. Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. 
So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honey Bee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! I guess. Come on, come on! The show's about to start! <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Aw, he's blushing. Sweet here at the honey bee in every moment is a treat. Welcome to the Hungry Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Woohoo! 
Think you can follow my lead? Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid to do it. That show today blew my mind! Hey, look at 
Look at me. I could dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. How it was amazing. Drink? You can talk. Wow. Was it planned wow. from the start? Probably now that not. was a did show. Did you see their look of surprise? Loud. Such beauty is the spice of life. Time to go home Wouldn't you agree? Please don't. Not a word. But one. Not even one. No. But you're so pretty. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. Hey, hands to yourself! We've been waiting for you to show. Hey, hands to yourself! Hey, hands to yourself! We've been waiting for you to show. That Andreas girl? I'd let Go to your room and me. wait. Quietly. Room's at the end. Keep walking. Huh? 
What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. 